Good blessed Friday, uh, June the 21st, 2024. It's about 5.07 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world. All around the world. All around the world. All around the world. All around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're my family friends nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like me or anything that you say or do. That's your prerogative. You have a first amendment to the United States Constitution. Freedom of press. Freedom of speech. Freedom to protest. Freedom to gather. Freedom to associate. With whom you please. But in some cases, I always give you a head up so you won't say Raymond said we had a right to do this according to the United States Constitution, uh, one of the amendments, uh, the First Amendment. But uh, if you on probation or parole, you might want to consult. It all depends who you are now. You might want to consult uh, your local law enforcement officials or your uh, probation or parole office and then see if it's okay for you to associate. Most of them tell you you can't associate with other felons or somebody on probation or parole. They tell you you can't uh, drink, you can't get high, you can't have firearms, etc. But some people like Jamie Connor, he has a few things in, con uh, uh, in his favor. He has white privilege. Jamie Conner, uh O'Connor is the uh, man that's on six years probation that threatened me and said he had a contract out on my head. So he said he ain't got to worry about me no more. I got it on video. Uh, that was May the 17th, 2024. Today is June the 21st. It was a police report made, reached the chief of police, Robert Hearns, uh, the Southeast Missouri or Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County Grand Wizard to the Ku Klux Klan, neo-Nazi. All you gotta do is look at his haircut and then look at Adolf Hitler's haircut and it's a match. Might be related. He acts like him. But anyway, James O'Connor uh, and his uh, girlfriend, uh, Melissa Walker, Triple R did a little research down there, a little bit farther south, I believe it's in Arkansas. You can get me right if I'm wrong as far as the state. But she tried to kill her husband and her son. Husband and a son and a and her tried to kill the husband, and then she tried to kill the husband and the son. But she down here in Charleston, Missouri, uh, breaking laws. Nothing said, nothing done. Especially when they do it to me. Same with James O'Connor. He'd been convicted of manslaughter. And after he'd been convicted of manslaughter, uh, within the last year... He knocked a guy out, I believe, with a two by four. He on six years probation for multiple violations of these pit bulls that's not even supposed to be in the city limits. But I'm going to leave that alone. What I want to talk about now is when you fighting against an unjust system or when you're going up against the un uh, unjust system the fight would never be fair. Never be fair.
but she can't give up. You see, Harriet Tuckman was fighting against an unjust system. She couldn't trust everybody. It was whites that she couldn't trust, and it was as, as as well, it was blacks that she couldn't trust. That's why they call it the Underground Railroad. See, if Lester Gillespie, Rodney Jones, and 90% of these black preachers here in Charles, Missouri, and some of these white preachers here in Charles, Missouri, if they was a part of the Underground Railroad, we would never be able to get some of the information we get on these criminals. On these undercover Ku Klux Klans wearing badges, sitting behind uh, uh, a, a judge's bench with a black robe on making decisions. Supposed to be representing the people uh, of each state of prosecuting attorneys. Supposed to be representing the city, the city attorneys. But you see, the city attorney here in Charleston, Missouri, I know her real well. I know she don't like me. I know the chief of police real well. I know he don't like me. You see, the prosecuting, uh, I mean, the city attorney, she has one of these Negroes in the Charleston, Missouri Housing Authority on there, over there on Squank, work for, and you would see Jamie Connor when he violate uh, his probation, he hides out in there. Now, you buy me from the Charles, Missouri Housing Authority for videoing people that's tearing up my property, threatening me to live in the projects, because my house is the last house in my area where the project start, and I complained about it several times, videoed it, gave it to the uh, former uh, Charles, Missouri Ex ex uh, executive director for the Howland Authority, Paul Page, another Ku Klux Klan, a Nazi, a racist, that he loved, sell out blacks like Lester Gillespie and Rodney Jones and some of these other Negroes here in Charles, Missouri, to lick on his behind, kiss his behind. But he barred me because he didn't want to do nothing for, to, about it. And then I sent it to HUD in St. Louis and they brought it back to him. So he illegally barred me, didn't take me to court. Had a police officer bring a letter that wasn't even sealed, wasn't even stamped. And told me I was barred and banned because the residents in the Charles, Missouri Housing Authority is afraid of me. Uh, the uh, employees of the uh, uh, Charles, Missouri uh, Housing Authority are afraid of me. But today, all you got to do is see dogs attacking children at the bus stop right across the street from me. Before, before people started back moving in there when it used to be a closed up sub police station and ran by the housing authority after that. You will see me going out there rescuing these children and some of their parents talk about me, but yet they ain't at the damn bus stop watching their children until they get on the bus, but I'm out there rescuing them. But you talk about me and you kiss these racist white folks behind. When I say racist white folks, I'm not talking about everybody in this town because everybody in this town is not racist. But the people with the exception, I'm giving the city manager the benefit of the doubt. He's new. I'm letting him get chance to take inventory. If he look at every report that I made uh, uh, at the police station and see how far Robert Hearns let it go, see how the, they would arrest me for videoing somebody that came in my neighborhood telling people that I raped children, let's go, let's be. The sellout Negro that's ripping people off. The government gonna get the government gonna get him, the federal government gonna get him again, like they did before for the voter fraud. You see, they, they lock me up, they get an outstanding warrant for me just for videoing him. But yet here is James Connor, a white man, threatening me on my video. 
And now all of a sudden, the laws unchanged. You see what I'm saying? What if I go tell Robert Hearns and some of these other clans and Lester Gillespie and some of these sellout Negroes, I got contracts on y'all head. They have me in federal custody. But I don't have to deal with them. All I'm gonna do is continue to expose them because people give up too much. You see, I didn't give up. Darren Cain live when they let this felon still on me at Boomland on June the 9th, 2020. You see, Darren Cain and one of them judges, they, they thought it was funny. Some of the police, Robert Hearns and them, they thought it was funny. But they laughed their ass all the way to the cemetery of burying Darren Kane ass. He in the cemetery now. God gave him COVID and sent his ass six feet down. I know some of y'all don't like what I'm talking about, but I don't like the way y'all been doing me and my children. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now you laugh at that. When you go every time you go to the cemetery, you laugh and ask him, how do we feel to be down there in that damn dirt six feet under? You can't laugh no more. You see, just like Dan Kane went, that, that city attorney, Tabitha uh, Thurman Brown, the state's attorney, Clara Poli, Robert Hearns, the chief of police here in Charles, Missouri, Brenton Farrow, the sheriff, and any of you police and deputies that's crooked Y'all to get a chance to talk to Dan Kane when them damn groundhogs start bringing your mail. And they say, oh, y'all must have messed with Raymond Lewis Ivy. That Negro don't play. God come down and swipe us out. Ask that one judge that looked over my case when Lester Gillespie and them had that false uh, report on me. Ask that police officer, Zach Albright, wherever he at now. He was just like that damn uh, supervisor, police over in Sison, in his damn car sleep. You see, God let us catch y'all with your drawers down and then put you on blast. But I'm telling some of y'all, stop giving up. I ain't gave up on these people killing my son, Brian Lamont Johns, on Friday, March the 19th. 2021 when they hung my son and said he committed suicide if my son was gonna commit suicide when he was 16 and got 30 years and did 14 years and nine months in the penitentiary he didn't even attempt suicide now in time they killed him you see the police took advantage of him seen he got addicted on these drugs and used him as an informant then when he ran off with their money, he, they had him killed. They think I don't know. You see, Robert Hearns, y'all, these, these police is writing these police reports, and you and the city attorney and the prosecuting attorney ain't letting it go to the judge, but you ain't got to let it go to the judge. That's Darren Kane. It's cold as hell down up in that damn dirt. The farther you go down, it's cold. I'm not sad because he dead. I wouldn't be sad because of none of y'all dead because y'all, the way y'all do black folks like me that stand up against y'all, I can be your worst nightmare. <laughs> but I ain't, I ain't, the old me ain't gonna come out. The only way the old me come out if you put your physical hands on me you had good sense when I told you to get your damn hands off of me at that uh, meeting. I don't give a damn if you is a sergeant of arm. When somebody asks me a question that got more authority than you, you don't tell me what to do. But see, one day, well, let me get back. As long as you don't put your hands on me and my two daughters, y'all betting 100. Y'all betting 100. Black folks, white folks, Spanish folks, all of y'all that know you got a legitimate beef, don't give up. Keep on going, man. Don't give up. If I, had I gave up a long time ago, I'd be dead and gone. But I'm going to leave y'all with this here. Remember, 
when you go up against an unjust system, the fight ain't going to never be fair. They crooks from the bench all the way down to the streets. If the shoe fit wet, if you ain't no crooked judge, don't let it bother you. If you ain't no crooked police, don't let it bother you. If you ain't no racist white person, don't let it bother you. If you ain't no sellout book, boot licking black person or sellout Negro, house Negro like Malcolm called y'all, then don't let it bother you. But most of these individual blacks, this preachers, most of them, y'all, 90% of them is sellouts. They worse than the Ku Klux Klan. I'm going to leave like I came. Am I angry? Yeah, but I ain't going to send in my anger. Ain't nothing y'all can do to make the old me come out. Because if the old me come out, I'll turn this whole city upside down. Put your hand on me like y'all let an individual put your hand. Here's an a, a individual assaulted me. And do you know all they gave him was a ticket? I'm all bruised up. I didn't fight back. For a special reason, I had my two young daughters and my daddy. If I'd have fought back, I'd have killed him. See, I don't fight. I don't physically fight. If you attack me, what I'm going to try to do is take your life. Any of y'all, it don't make no difference who you is. But they gave him a ticket, y'all. But yet, when I was videoing Lester Gillespie, when he was telling people that I raped children, they put an outstanding warrant for me. What they tell y'all? I had to bond out. Had an unjust judge, unjust prosecuting attorney. Guess who two of the prosecuting attorneys were? Darren Kane and the sitting city attorney now. She was Tabitha Thurman now. Now she Tabitha Thurman Brown. Some other day when the husband leave her, she going to probably be Tabitha uh, uh, Thurman Ivy. I bet that'll shake y'all up, ain't you? I marry one of y'all daughters or one of y'all relatives. That'll shake you up. This Negro marrying one of us, I wouldn't marry one of you. Let me stop. But I'm going to leave like this here. They give me a harassment when Lester came on the black side of town. He lived on the white side of town. He came on the black side of town right down from my house telling individuals that I'm videoing their uh, uh, houses and I went down there to put him in check. He didn't call the police. One of his workers called the police. She knows who she is. I got the police report. But look, I'm still, I'm still here. See, one thing that's different than me and Bobby Hearns, Leslie Gillespie, and all you sellout uh, Negroes and all you racist whites. See, I, I can be on death row. You see what I'm saying? I ain't going to be no different than I am now. I can be in a maximum security penitentiary. I ain't going to be no different than I am now. See, y'all will be committing suicide. We already know what Bobby Hearns would be doing if he's sitting on Santa Claus' lap with his leg got gapped open and Santa Claus got his knee in his behind and he got an assault rifle. He telling Santa Claus, if you move that knee from by my behind, I'm going to take you out. <laughs> y'all, peace be still. I know y'all don't like it and I'm glad you don't like it. I want y'all to hate me until your heart stop beating. Because ain't nothing about y'all I like. Ain't nothing about what y'all do down here I like. But I know I don't care what type of position you have down here. God showed y'all what he did to Darren Kane. God showed y'all what he did to that one judge. Took him off the bench. He gave him a break. Took him off the bench. One of them he gave a heart attack. Peace be still. <laughs> Look how dark it just got. Oh my god, look at it. Oh my gosh. Let me put my glasses on. I can't even see. Woo! Yeah! Take a picture! Oh my gosh. Look, I'm look. Look, look, look. Like, oh my god, I'm not fucking phone, they blow up.